Welcome back, Hookaholics. I've got a lot of catching up to do. Uh, you know, I've been away working, working too hard, not enough play, and so I'm a little backed up, and I have four of my Mystery Tackle Box Elite boxes to uh, expose for you. So what I'm going to do is two videos, two boxes each, starting with this one, our June and July MTB Elite uh, Edition boxes. And uh, as always, I'm going to show the bait, give a little insight if I have any. Uh, in the description below, I will list the bait and the timestamps. So you can go directly to that bait if you want just to look into that and see what that is. in one video and I'll do my April and May in another video. Uh, as always, right off the top, we've got our MTB card and here we have two, four, six, eight, nine, nine baits. So that's pretty cool. We'll jump right in, start breaking these down as we go. Uh, we've got our little uh, whoop whoop, little ICP style Great Malenko-esque sticker there. Uh, that's one for you. <laughs> I like that. That's going on my boat. All right, put that aside. Uh, what else we got in here? Oh, and we got ourselves a card, Headbangers Banger Lizard. So they got a soft plastic coming out from Headbanger Lures. And uh, as always, their little Headbangers cup-shaped uh, rocker head. So you got the rocker head that I'm well accustomed to and knowledgeable of. And it looks like they came out with a couple of lizards and soft plastics. Uh, so maybe that's going to be in here. So let's start. Number one, Lucky Crafts LCRTO. Lucky Crafts, LCRTO. So we got ourselves a 1.5 floating Flake Flake Kabuki Gill, uh, two and three eight, uh, two and three eighths length. It's a half ounce, a little uh, square bill. I love that silver head, natural blue gill pattern in the back, a little flash on the face, it's got a little chartreuse hit on the head. So you see that coming through flashing in the, in the water. Great for this time of year. Just a little bit of rattle, it might actually be silent. Can't tell because I'm not taking out of the picture packages. Next up, Thun uh, that's $12.99. Next up from Thunderhawk uh, Lures, the A10 for $9.99. Thunderhawk Lures. Thunderhawk. Now I always look at this company. Well, this is very old school. So you got yourself your old school uh, square bill style where the actual bill is molded into the head of the uh, of the bait, sort of like a wake bait style. This one is a three to five foot diving. It is three and a half inches and it uses number four hooks. That's not bad. Three to five foot mid diver. There's that head molded right into the, into the body like those old school little shad spot on there in the bone white color. I like that. That's got a knocker in it. So that's pretty cool. A little bit of flake too. It's got some silver flake in there. It's hard to, well, there you go. See a little bit of that silver flake going on. That's pretty cool. I will enjoy uh, checking that out. It's another great spring summer bait. Next up, Team Arc's Top Water Slider. So we got from Arc, we've got uh, a spook, a little walking bait. All right, so uh, here we go. Clear, again, you got that little bluegill esque kind of pattern with that clear color little rattle in the nose and some good BBs in the back. I bet this thing casts like a bullet. Um, so that's pretty cool. This is their TS-115. Not bad. Floating and it's a four and a half inch, uh, weighs 11 sixteenths of an ounce. So that's pretty darn impressive. All righty. Next up, uh, Guggen Squad. We always get a Guggen Squad item, it seems, or some sort of Catchco related brand product. From Guggen Squad, we have the Mini Zinger, which is their uh, simple little spinner bait. Uh, this one's the quarter ounce in the Colorado 2 Willow 3, and it is uh, chartreuse in white color on the, on the skirt there. Nothing special about that. What is special, and what you want to stay tuned for this, is to see what we're going to give away in our Christmas for July. Uh, 
So pay attention. All right, number five, Euro tackles meta crawl. So if you like me, like EPF, Extreme Philly Fishing, hello YouTube. Actually, it's what's up YouTube, but I'm not gonna steal his uh, <laughs> his mantra. Uh, for 2.4 inches, a six pack. I'm not gonna open this up because Euro tackle puts in these nice uh, like plastic uh, pouches with uh, pheromone scenting in it, similar to uh, the new craze, which is what bait fuel has like a pheromone fish attractant. Uh, Euro tackle has that here. Um, this is their black and blue six pack of their finesse metacross and uh, EPF uh, hooked up with them a long time ago. Still works with them, I believe. Big time into the micro fishing lures. Great also for ice fishermen. Euro tackles a great company to go to for ice fishing lures as well because their plastics are very pliable even in cold weather. Uh, next from Kalen's Kalen's Cast Stalker. Kalen's, Kalen's, Cast Stalker. So we got a 3 8 ounce black and blue jig from Kalen's. Not bad. Jigs are good. This will come in handy if you win the prize that I have for Christmas in July. Uh, next up, Z-Man, uh, Z-Man's Streak Z. Streak Z. So in Smoky Shad, we've got their small little uh, V-Tail little uh, jerk baits, little plastic jerk baits. So 3.75, 3 and 3 quarter inch six pack of the Streak Z's in the smoky shad color. So it's like, it's a pearl with a dark blackish blue smoke color and then green and blue uh, and silver flake on top. That's pretty good. Um, it's, you know, as much as I should, I really don't um, typically throw these. I rather use a hard jerk bait rather than you know plastics. It's just me. Ah, here we go. From the card, a little foreshadowing. Uh, Headbangers Rocker Head, three ninety nine. I got to go back here. So real quick, because I forgot to mention. So we had the Lucky Craft was twelve ninety nine. The Thunderhawk Lures A ten was nine ninety nine. I'll go back and put all the prices over the screen. Team Arc's Top Water Slider was seven ninety nine. The Guggen Squad Zinger was six. 49 Euro tackle those meta crawls 5.99 the Kalen's uh, j uh, the Kalen's jig was 4.99 the Z-Man streaks those little uh, soft plastics were 4.49 Headbanger lures 3.99 for this Headbanger's rocker head uh, right there which is cool and that goes perfectly with Headbanger lures four inch banger lizards so. See if I can open this up. Yep. All right. So it's not sealed, sealed. So we'll take one of these out because this is something I've not tried before. Okay. It's a very similar look to some other uh, soft plastics that I have with the same style ribbing, and it's got a little curly tail and four little appendages, and the front ones have these nice little paddles on them, which is pretty cool. And you got a green pumpkin, red flake color to these. That's cool. So you throw these on those headbanger jigs, and uh, definitely sent it. And uh, there's a pairing made for fishing, $3.42. So this is another really cool box uh, that has everything you could possibly want. You've got some jigs, you've got some hard baits, you've got some top water, cranking baits, soft plastics to run on the bottom, and a different variety of colors. Again, MTB tends to uh, really facilitate a day out on the water, just grabbing one of these boxes and running to your boat or your, or your dock or just off the bank. You can make a day of it uh, with pretty much what they supply in the box. I think this is a pretty well-rounded, well-rounded box. So, uh, not bad. All right, not to waste time. On to the next. Now, this one came kind of banged up. <laughs> this is my July for this month of July 2022 and we have right off the top, ooh, okay again card. So two, four, six, eight, again nine baits, nine baits on our list again for this month. We've got in here a Weston Spot Twin Turbo is our feature item. So that's pretty cool. That's a different take on a whopper plopper, it looks, with a, a twin 
whopper plopper style esque tail setup. Interesting. All right, maybe we'll have that in here. Oh look, it's the first item for seventeen dollars and ninety nine cents. Definitely competing with the whopper plopper. Oh, okay, here we go. And Weston always being a very expensive uh, brand. Not at all a color that I would want. Floating, three and a half inches, 11 sixteenths of an ounce in the color Black Haze. I think they were definitely smoking a little purple haze when they decided to paint this guy up. So obviously this is a take on the Whopper Plopper. It's got the same style body, keeled front, and with this, I'll take the securing bands off here real quick and poke myself in the thumb in the process. <laughs> Ow. Okay, that's my forefinger. Alrighty. I'm not trying to do an expose on how to get hooks out of your body today. But, uh, yeah, okay, so we've got two Whopper Plopper style tails uh, next to each other. I guess their idea is to double the gurgle or simply to be able to maintain uh, legality and not coming up with the same exact thing. I mean, Guggen put out theirs where they put the plopper in the center of the bait. Albeit said, all of these Whopper Plopper baits are old musky baits from way back when. Um, these aren't a new design. It's just something so many generations out haven't seen it and it became a niche market. Now they bring it back in a slightly well, much smaller size into a genre people aren't aware of, and it catches their eye, and everybody thinks, oh my god, it's something new. It's just a new take on an old thing. Um, that all said, I really don't think how gimmicky two gurgling blades are going to be. I can't see why. So they are they're obverse uh, cupped, so one's cupped to, to gurgle left, the other one's cupped to gurgle right, which is kind of a good idea, in my opinion, uh, because then they'll counteract each other. It won't be so much drag that it's going to cause the bait just to keep flopping one direction. Uh, it looks like they'll counter-rotate, and this will cause it to actually track a little bit more true, certainly. Um, that being said, I also can't see why they won't just flop in a pair. I don't think that they're going to splay out and stay in a, uh, in a uh, bookend parallel pattern. I, anyway, $17.99, is it kind of nifty? Yeah, is it anything I'd pay 18 bucks for? Hell no, and it certainly wouldn't go for that color. <laughs> All right. All right, next up. Let's not make this take too long. Uh, from Lucky John, we have the Lucky John Shad. Uh, Blonde Bass, Fisher Hoy, this a lucky John. Ah, dynamatic. Lucky John Shad. Oh, oh, oh. We got a Whopper Plopper as a sticker. Actually, it's a swim. That's a jointed bait. It's just a jointed bait with a. Okay, the tail's just curled. So anyway, there's our sticker for this box. I still like that last box sticker better. And I think I'm missing a bait. Fisher Boy Grande Bass X Zone Lord. Oh, no, that's. Oh, here, is this it? Here we go. All the way at the bottom. Lucky John. So 2.3 depth, 0 to 2 foot 3. Um, weight 13 grams. And it is a little jerk bait, a little lipped jerk bait. So let's. Uh, Open this guy up here. Not a bad color. That's more realistic to me. So you can get your shad, you know, minnow patterns, what have you, uh, arbicore, whatever you want to call it, tuna. Um, so yeah, there we go. That's a lot better for nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. Definitely something I would uh, throw and purchase uh, with my own money. So that's not bad. Blue and silver is always a good color. Uh, in baits, in my opinion, where I fish. Next up, uh, from Dynamatic, Dynamatic, dy Dynamic, Dynamic, Dynamic Lures, the J Spot. From Dynam Dynam Dynamic Lures, the J Spot. 
So here's another little jerk bait. Love jerk baits. That's a clown pattern. Red chartreuse on the back, clear belly. Uh, this one is one to four foot. Uh, true red grill added for extra action. And it's a five sixteenths of an ounce. One to four foot depth. It's three inches long. Not bad. Like that. That is for $7.95. Next up from Lunker Hunt, Impact Series Jolt for $7.49. Ten cents cheaper. Another hard bait. Quite a lot. So we have a small square bill, two and a half foot diving impact jolt, two to five feet. It is a third of an ounce and it's two and an eighth inches long. Nice pattern though. I like that. It's a really good pattern. I like that. All right, so that's a good joint, a good crankbait, or excuse me, square bill. Uh, next up from X Zone Lures. Finesse Muscle Back Cross. Now we're getting into the soft plastics for $5.99. X-Zone, have a ton of these. Definitely giving these away. The Muscle Back Cross, these work great, especially this color black and blue. Um, awesome colors. Dirty stained water, freaking go-to. All right, so those were, again, from X-Zone for $5.99. Next, from Grande Fishing, Mega Claw. Mega Claws for $4.99. Ronde. Ronde Bass. Ronde Bass. I think I have these too. So these are in the Ballistics Gill color, which is like a watermelon green with that blue flake in there uh, and little hues of red. Awesome color. Awesome bait. And you get, uh, I think it's an 8-pack. 4-inch. Four 4-inches. Four 8-pack. And I like how they have those appendages on the end, those little kicker kind of tentacles on the front are pretty cool. And they have all these appendages on the sides. Great flipping and punching kit. Great for a Texas rig. Um, awesome, awesome bait. And a garlic scent for those. Next is the Carl's Amazing Baits Flicker Worm. Got to have a Carl's product. Oh, we got our table digest in there, of course. Carl's Project Flicker Worm. Uh, I think I have these two, not necessarily in this color, but there is your little nose hook finesse drop shot worm. It's got that bulbous tail on the end that's going to float, so that's pretty cool. They don't have a color on this, so what is our go-to color? What is our go-to color? If they don't list a color on the package, what do we call this color? Put it down in the description. Write down in the comments the... Carl's Amazing Baits Flicker Worm and the color you would call this. All right? There's a joke in there from years gone by. Uh, that is $4.99 as well. Grandes and those Flicker Worms, $4.99 each. Uh, next to last for $4.28, Fish Ahoy's Lure Outlaw. Now this is kind of cool. I like these. I like these translucent style uh, creature baits. I just like how when you let water and light come through a bait, it just adds something to it for me. So these are four uh, 4.125 inches long. Great. Uh, so it's a four inch lure. Uh, it's got nice big claws. I'm sure they're going to give some great action. Great for a jig. I wouldn't put these on a chatter bait, but definitely great for a swim jig. Uh, with those claws, bulk it up, and it's flat on this side, so that would actually get gain you buoyancy and make it really good to uh, to skip this with a jig head up underneath some docks and whatnot into some structure. I like that. Fisher boy, that's an effort keeper. It's got they call this the wide claw and the banana claw. This is the wide claw, and it actually can cut it apart. You can tear the claw down. So you can make three different actions. You can have the full wide claw. You can peel this off and just have that which they call the banana claw, which is just this outside edge. And then you can peel it even further and, uh, and, and or not peel it completely and have it just as two appendages. So you get three actions out of it. That's pretty nifty. Pretty nifty. And that's 428 for those. Finally, last item uh, from Catch Outdoors. For $2.32, we have a two-pack of some Trippy Prism 5X Extra Wide Gap High Carbon Steel Titanium Pro Series. 
a bunch of BS words and catchphrases that I don't buy. But it is a funky colored set of EWG hooks. No better than any other hook. A hook is a hook is a hook. Um, you know, you find the ones that you enjoy. For me personally, um, you know, I'm not a huge fan of any specific hook. I like Daiichi's a little bit for certain things. I like, uh, you know, owner hooks for certain things. It all depends on what I'm tending to use the hooks on and for that give me what brands and what styles. Certain styles and certain brands come with better gauge wire, stiffer wire, more flexible wire based on what I'm trying to, uh, to fish. So don't get caught up in the hype of names and brands. Find what works best for you. Find what's most palatable and abundant for you and what's most cost effective for you. All right, that all said, those were June and July's back-to-back MTB Elites. Again, I will break it up. I will have the prices listed both on screen because I screwed up the first half and uh, down in the description with the timestamp for each one of these. Uh, sorry this was so long, but uh, I hope this was enjoyable. At least you got two big boxes out of the way. And as for Christmas in July, one part of that giveaway is going to be this. This is a 1-3 Fishings Blackout 1.0 spinning rod. So brand new with a rod uh, cover. So you'll get the 1-3 Fishings Blackout spinning rod. Brand new in pack. So uh, never been used. It comes with extra couple of bearings, etc. And if I can find some uh, real oil, I'll throw a little real oil in there too. Uh, just to have for you guys. As always, that's part one of our Christmas in July giveaway. So we'll be doing that, and uh, I'm going to run this through July. Uh, I also entered the Carl's uh, MTB's Coast-to-Coast uh, -coast National little tournament that they started. Uh, you might want to check that out. I'll leave a little link down at the bottom for that if you want to get in. I think there's 500 places they're allowing uh, for their little virtual tournament. So uh, that's another thing that's going to consume a little bit of my time. But with that said, I hope you all enjoyed this. I appreciate the time you spent with me. Uh, as always, from me to you, I will catch you on the next cast. Peace, O'Connor.